Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas, site of today's international friendly between the United States and Australia. It's the United States in white, Australia in yellow. We are underway. It's the beginning of a journey, said Lauren Holiday. Lance Sauerbrunn, the NWSL Defender of the Year this season in FC Kansas City, but take it away. Try to start on the break. And danger here. Crystal Duck tracking back. Lisa Nevada is in, and Lisa Nevada saved by Hope Solo. Touching it off the bar and out for a corner. I talked earlier about Lisa Devana's speed on a quick transition. The United States is two on two in the back, not an ideal. But look at the speed of Devana. Crystal Dunn, second fastest player on the United States national team behind Christy Rampone. And Lisa Devana outran her and got on her left foot, which is her desired foot, forcing Hope Solo to make a save. Sauerbrunn driving it into the box. Her back. The follow-up is a goal. It's Holiday. Full volley for the top of the box, and the U.S. on the board first. The United States is so dangerous on the set piece because everyone is concentrating on number 20, Abby Wambach. The ball gets served into the six, and Lauren Holiday took a couple steps back, got her balance, which allowed her to get control on the volley. Look at this, it bounces back up. Look at her, it takes a couple of back steps, reads the flight of the ball, which allows her to get the accurate strike on it. All the Australian players in the 18-yard box to defend this as Holiday drives it in. Wambach got her head to it, and it's going to be comfortably out for a goal kick. They're still done again, driving. Find space for that cross. Lost her footing. U.S. will keep it. Here's Morgan. Takes a block, falls for Carly Lloyd on her left. Sensational goal! Again, it starts on the flank. That is where the U.S. is creating all these opportunities. The ball gets sent across, and look at Carly Lloyd. She looks up, and she just goes straight into that space, hits it perfectly one time while the ball is dropping, so she's able to keep it low. Look at her. She gets her shoulder square, her hip square around the ball. Lydia Williams, the goalkeeper Australia, had no chance. Hit that ball about as well as you can. Now space and time the other way. Here's Gorey for Australia. Has willing runners sending it backside. Devana lines it up. Done the defender. Devana saved once again by Solo. Under 19 player. Picks her head up. Sees the open gap out wide. But Lisa Devana, look at that touch. Totally takes the momentum away from Crystal Dunn and able to get it on frame, causing Hope Solo to make a full extended low save. She's been the go-to player that she's had a team built around her in contrast to trying to fit in in a lot of ways to this U.S. national team as quickly it's Gory again trying to send Nevada through. Solo stays at home. Lisa Nevada denied for a third time. Gory again picking her head up, looking for the gap. Devano times her run so well this time. Forcing a kick save from Hope Solo. Hope Solo is going towards her near post, and then Devana isn't able to get just a bit wide of her. That was Gill, the forward tracking back. U.S. keeps it in. Lloyd on the far side, pass one, pass two, the shot through traffic saved. LaRue, all in a good control. Thinking about the shot, perhaps. Lauren Holiday elects to go wide for O'Reilly. On to her left, O'Reilly clips it in. Williams a diving punch. Wambach back in and just wide. Again, service from a wide position. Lydia Williams comes out bravely and punches the way. Not sure she could hold on to it. But Wambach attempting to do a bike just nearly misses the goal. Another ball to both ends of the field. Very much lovely ball to slip it through. O'Reilly now sets it up. Crosses in. It's Wambach. Right to Williams. Lloyd picks it up. Score of the second goal for the U.S. Trying to return for Abby Wambach, and that was a good idea. She gets there in time in the end. And Abby Wambach has scored 162 of her international career. Whitney Engen wins the head ball over a much taller Kate Gill. And a bunch of second balls, but they're able to set play from a wider position. Carly Lloyd picks her head up and plays it to the seam, not the person. And Lydia Williams didn't come out with enough conviction, did not command her box, and get out there quick enough to put a snuff on it. And Abby Wambach, give her credit for continuing her run on the ball, which most goalkeepers would get. 
and it goes in the side of the net. Morgan's late goal in the first leg when she was still just breaking her way into the team that really paved the way for the U.S. to get there as Morgan takes it off the defender and saved by Lydia Williams. It's really hard to get it up and down quick enough, so you kind of have to go back in, the looping header, tipped over the bar by Williams. Alex Morgan denied. O'Reilly creating space for the cross. Morgan lets it go on the doorstep. Kristen Press! Exclamation point of the day for the United States. And Heather O'Reilly is usually on the right, but she's on the left now. Does her pat and move. But this is why this goal works. This is because Alex Morgan adds a bit of deception, does a dummy, and Crystal Press puts it outside of the foot over Lydia Women's. But that right there is the reason why that goal was scored. That unselfish play by Morgan. And the composure of Kristen Preston. And the U.S. begins this journey to the 2015 World Cup with a 4-0 victory over Australia.